Today I'm going to show you how to do clipping masks. Clipping masks allow you to take two layers and um, send images into the contents of the layer below it and clipping it to its content. So uh, one example you can use it with text and then you can also do it with just two images as well. So the, for the first sample I wanted to show you how you can take this American flag and put it into the silhouette of the US. One nice new feature in CC to copy images onto other files. The best way to do it is just to duplicate and then you can choose what file you want to send it to. So I'm going to send this layer onto my silhouette image and instead of having to separate the windows and drag the layer I can just automatically send it there and there it is. Kind of cool. Um, in order to clip to this piece though I need to cut away my background since I have a solid white background I can just delete these areas so I have plain white background and now I can create a clipping mask you can do it a couple ways one way is to go up here there's also a shortcut or you can just right click on the layer and say create clipping mask whichever is on top is what's going into the layer below it so I'm going to create clipping mask and that now fits to the US shape. The cool part about this, you'll notice the clipping mask is there. You can tell by that arrow. You can release that if you do not want it to be there anymore. Just right click again and release it so it's not set in stone. And the other nice feature is you can move that image within the clip below it. So kind of cool. So that's with images. You can also do the same for text as well. So I have a text layer that I've typed the word snowboard. Um, I've found that when you're working with text for clipping masks, you want a bold font and you want to jam or cram those letters as close together as possible so you can see as much of the image um, as possible. So I made a really large font, very bold, condensed the letting, condensed the tracking, even extended the width of the letters so that when the picture goes inside these letters it shows up really nice. So then I move the text below it when I'm thinking it looks pretty good. Create my clipping mask and there you have it. Again I can move this image within here to find the right spot for it. Uh, <clears throat> what you can also do is add an additional layer for background color. And if you want it to show up a little bit better you can also do things like add your layer styles so if you want to put, let's say, an outer glow on this, maybe I'll add an outer glow. Oops. Just to give this a little bit more. And you can also put adjustments onto your image as well. So if you wanted to change some of the elements in your image, all that can be done. So that's a little bit with Clipping Max. Hope you enjoy and uh, can work through this next project. Thanks.